AMC Entertainment's share price was already under pressure ahead of Thanksgiving and the holiday weekend due to the rising number of COVID cases in the USA. And the emergence of the Omicron variant only added to that pressure, and shares in the movie theater operator have fallen quite dramatically in recent sessions. Elsewhere, AMC has been testing the appetite of its top customers for NFTs. In conjunction with Sony Pictures, AMC is offering 86,000 tokens to those who purchase tickets for the latest Spider-Man film, No Way Home. The tokens can be redeemed for a piece of digital art connected to the film at a dedicated website. GameStop shares have been under pressure, too, as investors moved into risk-off mode. Sentiment in the market was already shaky before Thanksgiving, and the news about Omicron reinforced that feeling. GameStop continued to offer online discounts on gaming hardware through Cyber Monday, with a PlayStation 5 bundle attracting media attention. The bundle included Sony's latest gaming platform, controllers and chargers, as well as two gift cards worth $100 each alongside a one-year membership of the PS Plus service, all for the bargain price of $724.96. Moving to Dogecoin, it's interesting that despite it being the dictionary definition of a risk asset, its price has fared quite well despite markets being under pressure, even outperforming Bitcoin. The best performing meme coin, however, was Shiba Inu, despite criticism from former Wolf of Wall Street Jordan Belfort, who described it as a worthless joke with no real value. Large cryptocurrency investors known as whales are said to have been buying on any major dip in the Shiba Inu price. Furthermore, Newegg, an online retailer of computer components, electronics, and accessories, has tweeted that it is planning to accept Shiba Inu as a method of payment in December. Newegg has a history of early adoption, having accepted Bitcoin payments from 2014 onwards. Robinhood's stock fell unexpectedly when considering that the firm unquestionably benefited from lockdowns and the trend of working from home seen in 2020. The sharp fall in the price and heightened trading activity came as share lockups associated with the company's IPO expired, meaning company insiders and long-term shareholders are free to sell.